Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. Today, we're gonna be, play, be playing some more uh, Final Fantasy X-2 of our new Yevon run. Here we go. All right, you guys can see it. Come on game, play some music so I can make sure they can hear it. Okay, yes, you can hear it. It's quiet though. I feel like it just Sims 2 is just such a loud game, so whenever we play that, things everything gets turned down. Let me just turn things up. There we go. Okay. Thank you so much for the Lurk Lunar. Have a good day at church. Okay, let's load. Here we go. Yeah, this is from last time. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, here we go. All right, last time... We started on chapter two. We are in chapter two now. We got burgled. We got burgled by the LeBlanc gang. But the first place that we're gonna actually head to is we are gonna head to the moon flow. We're gonna head to the moon flow. Yes. All right. So on the moon flow, there's a couple of things we need to do. And first thing we need to do is talk to Tobley. All right. Hello, little bird friend. But the tickets aren't selling. We'll end up with an empty house. That's like a full house with none of the people. And what do you say? Will you help me sell tickets, that is? I'll cut the base price in half. Just sell, sell, sell for big, big profits. Mm, come on, Uni. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, well, that sounds like fun. With the goings in charge, we'll sell out for sure. Imagine the crowds. The rest is up to you. All right, it is mission time. And since this is an RPG, we are instituting popcorn mode. Popcorn mode means I'm not going to talk during a uh, cutscene. So when the cutscene's over, I'll catch back up on chat. Um, you guys are welcome to chat me, of course, while the cutscene is going, but I won't respond to those until the end of the cutscene. Okay. We are going to maximize our profits. And we're going to do that first by talking to this lady right here. All right, so for her, we're going to do 1500. That's so cheap, of course I'll buy one. Okay, so there's like a max price that they'll buy it for and if you ask for more, then they're not gonna buy your ticket. So you have to be careful about not asking for too much and you only have 10 tickets to sell and you have to make a certain amount of money. So, this lady all the way back here that's annoying as hell to get to, she buys the ticket too, so we're gonna walk all the way back. There's a lot of guides that don't have her for what you should be selling tickets to because she's so far away and annoying to get to. It's just not that efficient. But going all the way back to her is the way to make the most money. Hello, EA game fan. How are you doing today? Are you having a lovely Sunday? So we're gonna run all the way back to here. Okay, so we can talk to her and she will also buy one for 1500. Yes. Okay, and then we got to walk back. I'm gonna walk back to the save sphere area. I can't remember if things will attack you here while you're selling tickets or not, or if it's just like the long walk to her. Oh, no, things will attack you. Okay, that answers that question. I couldn't remember. <laughs> All right, let's pray. Uh, fire. Um, I wanted to visit my younger friend, but her granny told me she's still in Bucharest. Oh, so you couldn't go? That's a shame. Hopefully you can visit them later. I guess fire is just not good enough for him. It should be maybe fire off. Mm. We learned shell. Yeah. yeah! Okay, uh, yes, protect is good for next. We are playing Final Fantasy X-2. We're on chapter two right now. Um, we started chapter two last stream. So now we're actually going and visiting all the different places. We're in the moon flow right now, trying to sell tickets for Tobli. I'm gonna show you guys the best, the way to make the most money at the ticket selling.
Smoking's bad for you. Yeah, you tell him. Oh my gosh. These guys take forever to die. I'm gonna continue my second Sims 4 Legacy household. Hell yeah. What generation are you on? Still one. I believe in you. I believe in you. You know, before I started streaming my legacy, the farthest I'd ever gotten was like starting generation three, like like generation three being born. I don't think I'd ever gotten farther than that uh, on my own, but streaming it and hanging out with you guys while I was doing it has helped me get all the way to generation five. Okay, so next we have to go this way. So these are the two that are kind of like back from that direction on to from Tobley. The next one is this woman by the save sphere here. She will also take 1500, okay? That's a steal, hell yeah. Hope you enjoy the show. Then we're gonna come over here. Gen two was born, nice. So you're on gen two, gen two then, but just started it. Okay, so then the person sitting on the dock, that's this guy right here, he will take also 1500. Okay, and then we need to ride the shoe puff to the right. other side. Yes, I would like to ride the shoe puff. All aboard. Okay, and then Moonflow dock number two, child at the bottom of the steps, this one right here. Okay, this child will actually buy it for 2,000. Told you I had enough. Okay, I'm glad you have enough. All right, and then the person at the top of the steps right here, they will also do 2,000. All right, why not? That's right. And then we're looking for a woman in green on the next screen, this one right here. She will also do uh, 2,000. Yes, enjoy the show. And then we're looking for the first guy on the roadside over here. He will do 1,500. He's there, okay. So now, because I don't want to necessarily walk all the way back here, before we do the last one, which is this guy right here, um, we want to do this publicity and matchmaking with the elderly lady. So she does the first one for the publicity, and then for the matchmaking, she's the fifth one. Do you believe in? <gasps> Destiny. Okay, and then this man right here, he will take 2,000. Sounds good to me. Okay, wait a second, we missed one. We did the man by the elderly lady, the first man on the roadside. We did the woman in green, person at the top of the steps, the kid at the bottom of the steps. <gasps> we missed someone on dock one. We missed someone on dock one, you guys. We gotta go back. We gotta go back to dock one. Today I made a graveyard and the generations and placed three fake gravestones to her two newborns who were unalived at birth. Oh no, and a third one is someone who's unalived a long time ago. Oh, that's a cool story though. That's a cool story, I love that. That's nice that they do, um, they do the graves for the miscarriages. That's so nice. I love like the massive graveyard in the, uh, in Strange Town in Sims Smoking's 2. I even got an ultrasound from the gallery. Oh, that's cool. That's one thing about Sims, because Sims 4 is the newer game, there's a lot of like really cool like um, furniture and decorations and things that people have made for it. It's a little bit harder to find that stuff as well for Sims 2, uh, because it's an older game. Okay, just to make sure, a person sitting on the dock we did that. Person standing to the left at the bottom of the stairs in the same area. Yeah, that's the one I missed. Okay. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. Let's see. Wait, is there anybody? Lady standing. Let's go ahead and get this lady. Because as soon as we're done with the tickets, it's gonna teleport us. So this lady is part of the publicity and matchmaking. So for publicity, you can do the fifth one. And then for the matchmaking, you can do the fourth one. Okay, let's go back. Ride the shoe puff. 
Yes. Let me on. Alright, we missed one of them here. So we did the person sitting on the dock, person standing to the left at the bottom in the same area. This guy right here. Okay. He does 2,000. Yes, yes, please, yes. Hope you enjoy the show. Okay, that's all 10. Then it's going to teleport you over to Toadly for the scene. The ticket timing. You better believe it. Every last one. Splendid, simply splendid. Did you hear that, everybody? Oh, yes, oh, yes, before I forget. I've got to pay you your profits. <gasps> profits! Lastly, a little bonus for selling all the tickets. A muscle belt. Seething cauldron garment grid. Yes. I guess it's worth trying anything. Yep, yep, it was an absolutely amicable arrangement. Everybody's happy. Oh, yeah, we're totally. looking forward to the show. It's good to help Tobley, Payne. It's good to help him. Welcome in, Beldum. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. My name's Karen Terry. We do a lot of other roleplay games. Um, we did a 100% playthrough of Final Fantasy X. Now we're doing X2, a new Yevon run. If you like um, Final Fantasy or things like that, you should drop a follow um, because I love Final Fantasy. And games like it. Okay, there's two other um, publicity ones that we need to do here. So this kid right here is one of them. Come here, kid. And you can do fifth on the publicity for him. And then there's a kid over here, this one in red that's jumping. You can do publicity for him, and he also does the fifth one. Yeah. Okay. So that is everything to do in the moon flow. We're going to board the airship again. Hey, you caught the rookity. Okay, I want to save really quick. Oh, wait, no. New save data. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the follow, friendo. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That's my favorite thing. Okay, so that says 29%. We should be at 29.2%. So we're going to check our handy dandy little, uh, little file I'll check her here, which I will show on the screen in uno momento. Yeah, save file three. Check it. Aw, oh, check, check it. Yeah. Guess who's my first gen husband? Didn't you say? I think I just missed it because we were watching the cutscene. Um, Don! That's cool. That's funny. My first gen husband was um Malcolm in my legacy that we're doing on stream. So here we go. Here's the thing. It says it's at 29%. I don't think that's right. I think it's supposed to be, oh wait, no, no, ha, 29% is right. I thought it was supposed to be at 29.2, but that's after the next area. So 29%, that's what we're supposed to be at. So we love that checker. This is the checker that we're using to make sure that we're always at the correct percent, that guy right there. Okay, so that's the moon flow for this chapter. This is my first time catching stream, but I adore your YouTube channel. Oh my God, thank you so much, Beldum, thank you. I assume you found me from my roleplay help videos that I used to do back in the day. Okay, we're gonna go to Guado Salam. You don't wanna, there's not too much to do here just yet, but you do need to go to Guado Salam before you start actually going and finding the uniforms because there is something to do. In addition to the elderly lady, you wanna approach the chateau and there's a scene, so let's watch it. Oh look, the dull wings. You're not getting in here, see? But LeBlanc broke into our airship. Anything goes for the great LeBlanc. Uh. <laughs> they love LeBlanc. What, what, what can you say? What can you say? They love her. Okay. Now we're going to save. So that should have just gotten us like 0.2% just from watching that. So I'm just going to refresh. Yep, 29.2. Okay, perfect. Okay, there's something else we need to do here. I want Don Dav kids with Nina too. Good, as he should, as he should. Okay, so we're gonna go down here. And this is a way to get lots of money, 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 which is why you wanna do the maximum amount you can get for the ticket sales. Okay, so you want to talk to this guy and say, got any data? 
And he says, he has just the thing. And what you're doing is you are wanting him to give you a specific clue. And that specific clue is... Okay, let's see what he says. I believe it's someone interested in joining the LeBlanc Syndicate. Okay, that's not the clue we want. We want the clue that's it's the last person you would expect. So what you need to do here is continually reset. Continually reset. So when you see the hint, you close the game. Okay, you reopen the game. And we're just going to keep doing it until we get that right one because that's going to make us the most gill. I did specifically the video on T1 combat roleplay. It was a great video. The whole roleplay series helped me learn a lot. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. I can't, I, you know, when I learned, when I learned that in the 2020s, people were still doing like T1, T2, T, all that stuff. I did not believe it at first. I was like, what? That's how like we used to do the combat role plays back in the day. You know what I'm saying? So like it blew my mind. Um, I'm trying to see, can I load the auto save or do I have to load? Let's see. I can load the autosave if I don't press any buttons, I think, um, after he gives me the clue. So if I close it when he gives me the clue without pressing anything, then I can reload the autosave. Okay, that's good. That's a few seconds it saves us. Um, I w my mind was blown, but I talked to one of my friends that like still does a lot of combat roleplay, and he was like, oh yeah, people still do it. So he actually helped me with that uh, Scrub, who you'll see come in here sometimes. And Scrub is also co posts on the Discord kind of semi-often, um, Scrub Lord. And he's, he started, he streamed on and off a little bit as well. So, but he, he actually helped me with that video and coming up with good examples that were more, that made more sense for like the modern combat role player. Should I move into the legacy household Dawn's Bastard Kids? Yes. Yeah. That's more like careers that you can get and things like that. More ghosts you can get? Yes. I mean, I assume there's different color ghosts in Sims 4. I don't really know. I assume there's career rewards too. I don't really know, actually. That's how little of Sims 4 that I've played. But yeah, I would. I would. I would. Uh, okay. Let's see. What clue is he going to give us this time? Sounds good. Okay. Guy you're after is just sitting around. Okay, that's not it. We're going to keep resetting until we get it. I still do a lot of combat role play as well. Mostly storyline now, but it's fun. I was just happy to find someone that actually talked about T1. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Yeah, I haven't done that in so long, you know, but like whenever we went back when we were role playing in like AOL chat rooms and Yahoo chat rooms and things like that, like sometimes that's just like the people that were on at the moment, like they wanted to do combat. And so long as they let me do like a little bit of story with it, you know, I didn't mind and um, and I would be down and I would do it. Uh, now the way that social media is and the way that advertising for role play is, and it's not really chat rooms anymore. Um, I don't have to like <laughs> settle, you know, for doing combat, uh, when I don't really want to, so I can do it more like in a narrative sense. Uh, so yeah. Oh my gosh. Wrong hint again. So like, I haven't done it in years. Um, and, uh, and, it, but it's funny, like when I was doing, when I was looking at stuff for the video, like I was doing some Googling just to see how people seem to do the tiers now, the T1, T, like all that, how they did it now. And I found like all the old write-ups that we used to use as guides back in like the year, you know, 1999, 2000, stuff like that. And it was like blast from the past. I was like, what? And they were still like popping up on in Google, like as, as the, you know, the search engine optimization, right? So I have to assume that's what people were still using. Um, it was just like, what? I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it blew my mind. So I think that's great. I'm glad that combat role players are still out there doing their thing, you know, and, uh, and still using that video. Okay. Sounds good. I'll take it. Okay. What hint we got this time? No, this is not the hint that we want. My gosh, my dude. I might do that when they're elders because I have four Sims already in the household. How many Sims can you have max in the household in four? I don't even remember. I know it's like, it's like eight in Sims two. You have to mod it to be more but it's really hard to do that many Sims. You know, you have to really focus on one or two Sims. I feel like in the others, you kind of just have to let do what they want to do. Because when you have that many in the household, you can't really play them all. Max eight. Okay, that makes sense. But you can't really play eight Sims at once. Some Sims are just going to have to be left to their own devices. All right. What do we get this time? What do we get? What do we get? Nope, not this one. 
And it's just totally random. It's totally random what prompts that you get when you're going through and doing this. So <clears throat> it can come very quickly or it can take a little bit of time. It just kind of depends. But you definitely want to save beforehand so that you don't lose the ability to keep resetting him. I just hope I don't lose Dina and Nina's graves. Well, you can, um, I'm sure there's a mod to like redo them if you do lose them, right? I know in Sims 2 you can do that. Got any data? Hey, hey, hey dude, you got any, you got any data? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He knows what I'm saying. He doesn't know what I'm saying. That's not, that's not it. That's not the hint, my dude. That's not the hint that we want. Can't have mods. Why can't you have mods? Why? I have mods in my legacy. Your video helped me learn a lot. Every time I open up a roleplay server, I always reference your roleplay series video. What? And put them in the roleplay research. It's so hard to find people to talk about text roleplay. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so glad for that. Yeah, I mean, I put those out there like for you guys. So every time that they're being shared, I'm so happy to hear it, you know? Like that's what they're there for. Like they're there to share. Um, I do feel like there's not a lot of people talking about it. It's kind of like me and then that's the spring hole girl. It's like me and the spring hole girl and that's kind of like it, right? Most other, most people um, are not like writing or recording guides on text-based role play other than us two. Hint, it's a woman. Oh, I didn't mean to push the button. I didn't mean to push the button. Okay, go away. That's not the right hint. <clears throat> because my sis says mods make nice mods to just put viruses. Your sister doesn't know what they're talking about. My dude, your sister doesn't know what they're talking about. That's not true. That's not how it, that's not the case. Uh, yeah. Also, computers just work differently now where they can't, you can't just like, like, that's just not how viruses work anymore. You don't hear about computer viruses as much because computers can do automatic updates now to combat the viruses very quickly. Because it's just not the same thing. Okay, are you gonna are you gonna give me the right clue this time, my dude? Are you gonna give me the right clue this time? Okay. In a place you wouldn't expect. No, that's not what we want. So this is the hint that's kind of close to it, but this is not what we want. We don't want in a place you wouldn't expect. We want the last person you would expect. Yeah, the reason why viruses used to propagate in the past uh, is because, for the most part, when you got wanted to get updates to your operating system, you didn't download them. Like you, you, it came on a disk, and you would load the disk to your computer. And they, there was no such thing as like the operating system or the or, or the or the firmware like auto updating through the internet. Like that wasn't a thing. So when virus makers would find. Um, vulnerabilities those vulnerabilities would often last for people for years and years and years before they could get patched out and they wouldn't really get patched out for a lot of people until they completely upgraded their operating system but now you can be completely ignorant of how that works and it's just going to get updated automatically through the internet so that's why like it's okay not that viruses don't still exist they do but it's not profitable for virus makers to just put them on regular people's computers in the same way, like through random downloads because of them being able to get patched and fixed so easily and quickly. So that's just the, not the kind of thing virus makers are looking for. Okay, give me a good hint this time. No, not good hint. So like the kinds of things that virus makers are really doing nowadays to actually like make money from their viruses is they're trying to get into the the uh, private data that companies own, right? Like, and then send those companies ransom letters so that they can make money that way, right? So like, that's the type of thing that's happening. So you're much more likely to get a virus at work than on your personal computer. Because you, you are not gonna pay the ransom, <laughs> you know? Whereas like, a large company, they have incentive to pay the ransom that you don't have. So they're not trying to get on your personal computer for the most part. Not that viruses don't exist and they can't happen, but it's just a lot more rare. It's not, it's not really like that anymore. Okay, 
Give me a good, give me the good hint. It's not the good hint. Uh, that's not what I want to hear, my dude. It's not what I want to hear. We're going to keep trying. We're going to get it. We're going to get it because we need it. We need it. Uh, got any data? Gimme, gimme, gimme that data. Haven't the slightest clue what this guy is doing. That's not, that's not the hint. That's not the hint. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. That's not what I said. Believe, believe what I meant. Okay. Again, again, again. This is worth it, by the way. I'll show you what we're going to do with all this money once we have it. It's worth it. To continually reset to get this. Okay, give me the good hint. Gosh. Not that. Not that. Reload. No, I had to move Nina out because the Caliente mansion was full. Oh, shame on you, Ezra Caliente. Oh, yeah, there's Ezra Caliente in four. That's true. I forgot about him. He doesn't exist in two. Okay. Give me the good hint this time. Try again. Remember, you don't have to be talented to be good at video games. All you need is knowledge and persistence. It's all you need. Don't need skill. Don't need talent. Okay, you just need knowledge and persistence. This is the persistence. All right, gimme, gimme, gimme. Nope. Ezra's need a son that she has with her husband. That's cool. That's cool. In my pleasant view, um, in my pleasant view, Nina, what did, what did I do with her? Oh yeah, Nina's um, married to Mary Sue right now. <laughs> in that pleasant view. Oh, not. Oh, I didn't mean to load that one. Whatever. It's okay. She's just outside instead. Okay, give me the good hint. It's the last person you'd expect. No question. That's the hint that we want. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Apparently loading from that save was what we needed to do all along. We just needed to walk back in. <laughs> okay, here we go. So yes, surely you have some idea of whom I speak, my lady. Okay, so here we go. This is him. Secret data, of course I'm interested. Surprised, are you? Yes, actually I'd be willing to pay 100,000 gil for that data. Fuck yes, okay. We make so much money. We make so much money. Money, money, money. We got that cash. Sheesh. Okay. Now, we need to get back on the airship. And here's what we're going to do with that money. I told you we're going to use it for something. We're not just going to hoard it. We're not like that, okay? We're going to go to the cabin, and we are going to use it to pay off Owaka's debt. This is the best and fastest way to get Owaka's debt paid off. All right, 
Hey, my dude. What's up? Welcome to a walkers. Welcome, welcome. Okay, the way you pay off his debt is you buy shit. Oh, we can't buy any more of those. Okay, but we're gonna buy. We're gonna buy all these. We're gonna fill up on all these things. Okay. What is his debt down to? Okay, it's down to 12k. What can I can do for you? You can buy this stuff from me. Buy all of these potions. Oh wait, no. I want to click sell. Sell items. Buy my 99 potions, my 99 high potions, my 99 antidotes. Okay, now they're empty again. So we can go buy more from Awaka. Welcome to Awaka's. Buy the potions. Buy the high potions. Buy the antidotes. Oh wait. Huh? I thought I sold 99999 99, antidotes. I guess not. Oh, I don't have enough gill. <laughs> That's okay. His debt is zero now. His debt is zero. Finally go back to me shop. Yay! So long. Thanks for everything. Not exactly a proper thanks now, is it? I think I'll keep doing business here for a bit. At a tremendous discount, of course. Alright, so there we go. We spent all of our gill on the lovely Owaka. It was worth it. Thanks, Owaka. So that's the best way to pay off his debt. Um, okay, let's go back to the deck. Okay, now we can head to the next area we want to head to. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Deck, that's where I meant to go. No? Oh, I guess I'm already- I must already be on it. That's right, I'm already on it. That's why I can't go there. Okay, let's save again. Whee! I love to jump there. All right, so we're gonna next go to Meehan High Road for Wild Chocobo Chase. Oh, we need to enter, okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm looking at my notes here. We need to enter from Mushroom Rock Road. So actually let's board the airship and let's go to Mushroom Rock Road and then we'll go south from there to Meehan High Road. Because if you go from the start of Meehan High Road, it's you're gonna trigger events that block you from certain areas of the road. So you wanna start from here. Okay, this little boy, you can do publicity with, and he does the fifth one. Yes. And there should be a chest to the left over here. Yes, okay. Two grenades, all right. And we're gonna do go down this path, the old road path first. I can afford two Sims, four packs. Which one should I buy? I'm thinking about getting famous in seasons or not seasons in cats and dogs. I don't really know. Um, honestly, I'm not super familiar with what all the packs are. Um, and I, I, you know, so I don't, I'm not really sure. Uh, I think you should pirate all of them, to be honest. It's always moral to pirate from EA. All right, this chest right here is an ether. This guy. He can do the second one for publicity. And you want to go ahead and do all of this before you trigger the mission here, because you're going to get locked out from a lot of this if you don't. There's a chest over here. I thought. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. If I pirate them, I'll have the same issue as I have with mods. Yeah, and I mean, you know I don't believe in that as a problem either. So, I don't know. I don't know. Since I don't really play Sims 4, I don't know what's, what's, what's worth spending money on. 
This is two potions. Okay. This guy right here, or this lady, she can do the publicity, four. And she can do the matchmaking, number one. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, there's some more down this way. We gotta talk to those two guys on the very end again. The bully caps are um, weak to the fire, so we're gonna do that. What? Fire heals him? That's not fair. That's not fair. Excuse you. Can we do water? Yeah, we can do water. The heck? I can't believe fire heals him. I guess he is a fire breathing dude. So that kind of makes sense for sure. But that's still rude. Thank you. Come again. Okay. Yeah, I think we just go all the way down to the guys. I don't think there's anything in between here and those guys. Officially, Nina is prego. Congratulations, Nina. Oh, she has beautiful baby. All right, let's fire this bully cap. Well, we fired the flam, but that's okay. He still died. We're going to talk to them also, see if they make fun of me again for walking all the way down here. It's not my fault that you do the publicity. Mini game. Yay, she got protect. Ashes to ashes. Yeah. Oh, that was good, because I accidentally chose fire again on the stupid quadricorn who's gonna get healed. Alright, let's go look at Riku's abilities. Okay, yeah, she can do reflect. Koneko, welcome in! Hey Koneko, how were the horsies yesterday? I assume you were hanging out with the horsies. How are they doing? Okay, this is all good. Yeah, okay. They just have higher ones. That's why they're not learning the way Riku is. So that's all fine. Okay, so these guys right here. So the guy on the top, you can do publicity for, and he takes the first one. And for the guy on the bottom, when you do publicity for him, he takes the third one. And we've also got these two chests here. Echo screens and some softs. The horsies were very good. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Dr. P is in the house. Stop that. You know, since um since Lunar is playing the the horsey pack, the new the new horse pack for Sims 4, she was talking about maybe trying to ride a horse again, and she had a very funny story about that. Anyway, Koneko, you should tell her um how to get started with horsies because she had bad experience when she was younger. It didn't work out and she's not ridden horses again. So what's next? But I know like you're super into it and go like every single weekend. So now we have to run all the way back. Oh no, that's so sad. Yeah. I think that, that a lot of that happens to a lot of people though, right? Like horses are kind of crazy. <laughs> And they're so big, so, you know, I can understand uh, how you end up with bad experience. The horsies, yeah, with horsies, it's very important to, like, know your limits and know the horse's limits, yeah. Because they're kind of like, they're kind of like big dogs, but, like, uh, bigger than a dog and just as neurotic as a lot of dogs. So, <laughs> at least that's my small, small, small experience with horsies so you had just you just have to be careful uh they don't act like as big of an animal as they are <laughs> you know they act like small animals do Smoking if you want fish. to barbie land in the sims there's a base barbie land game oh my god that's amazing i don't think i would play sims 4 just for barbie land but i would love to do a barbie land sims <gasps> a barbie land aesthetic 
Sim's aesthetic. That would be amazing. Dogs at least have the advantage that they're predators. Horses are prey animals. They act like prey animals, right? But you just don't expect it, you know? You don't expect it because they're so big. But they do. They act like, like prey animals. Smoking's bad for you. Oh my gosh, die already, fly eye. There we go. Oh, that didn't kill it. I thought that was going to kill it. You bitch, die already. Yeah, dogs at least have to hunt some things, you know, because they need meat or they, they're because they're omnivores or whatever. But horses don't hunt anything, right? Like they don't, they eat just like grass, grasses. So yeah. But I think that's what makes horses kind of like uh, difficult to deal with as, like, a person. <laughs> 29k points that I can unalive one of your sims. I believe in you, EA. I believe in you. You're gonna do it. And we'll kill off a little... That's for the legacy. So we'll, uh, so when you, whenever you do it, we'll do it in the legacy. To be honest, the biggest thing that hex people over is they go in being scared horsey since when people are scared the smarter ones take advantage of that the dumber ones think there is something to be scared of either way it's not going to be a good time i 100 percent believe that that sounds so right to me uh and exactly what happens but hu and humans are kind of like that too you know because humans can sense when other humans are scared <laughs> and if they can't figure out why they why the person's scared they assume that something bad is around and act like that so like horsies are just the same way. They're just they're just big big sillies. They're just big sillies. That makes a lot of sense to me. But yeah, I haven't interacted with horses much as an adult either, but I didn't have any bad experience. It just wasn't an interest of mine. But we definitely went and rode horses in uh in Girl Scouts a couple of times, and it was fun. Okay, now we're gonna go back down this way towards the agency. We've got a chest right here. This has a phoenix down in it. And then we're gonna follow around till we see the lady in yellow that's on the bridge. Yeah, if Luna's around, let me know because I definitely have some advice for getting back into around horsies. Okay, she's at church right now, so I think she's lurking. She's probably not actually, can't actually hear me. <laughs> um, but she'll probably be around in a couple hours when she's done with church. Bye, Iron Giant. Effortless. But she did pop in to say hi, so I assume after church she's actually gonna like watch. Okay. Hello. There we go. I was like, where's my options? Ashes to ash. Boom. Well, she can't quite kill the wild wolf. Oh, good reflect. Makes sense. I'm gonna be lurking here for most of the stream, so I'm here all day. Awesome. I'm so happy to have you here, Koneko. You're always a welcome presence, lurking or chatting. Either way. All right, so she's around this bend. She's over here, this one. And for her, you can do publicity for the fourth one and you can do matchmaking for the first one. Okay. So then what we need to do, or at least the most, the best way to do this is to go back out and around and then start from Luca. <laughs> so yeah, all right. So we're just gonna go kill our way back and then we're gonna go to Luca and then go up to Meehan from there. Sorry we had to win. I'm in Harry Potter Hogwarts Mysteries. I'm close to finding the second cursed vault. These vaults cause mayhem at Hogwarts and the games take place in the 80s. That's not the new game, is it? That's like an old one. I don't recall that one. 
Honestly, I've never played a Harry Potter game. <laughs> uh, the Legacies is out for the Switch now, though, so I might play it if I uh, get bored and want to, but I don't know. I'm not, like, that jazzed about Harry Potter. Going back and, like, reading it again as an adult really, really helped me, like, it just become something I like as opposed to something that's, like, important to ashes me. To so, yeah, I don't know. The game looked okay. I mean, it didn't look bad. So I might play it someday, but I'm not like super jazzed to do it. It's for mobile, it was made in 2017. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I definitely would not have played it for a mobile game. I did have a period in my life where I was playing a lot of mobile games, but the mobile games always were kind of predatory with like microtransactions and things. And they just got like worse and worse and worse over the years. And uh, so, yeah. So I never really, like, so after that period of a couple of years where I was super into them, I kind of, like, was like, eh, I don't think mobile games are for me. <laughs> they gotta be too much, you know? Oh, hello. What are you doing here, guys? Hi. Um, hello. I just wanted to talk to you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh. They're gone. Okay. Let's board the airship again. And we are actually going to land in Luca and then walk up to me in High Road. So just like this, we're not actually going to Luca. We're going to do the other side of me in High Road. All right. There is. I thought there was a chest like right here. Maybe not. Oh no, there it is. I was like, I thought it was like right at the start. There it is, it's a muscle belt. You can get another muscle belt. Let's go ahead and save. Oh, let's actually do a battle first and then we'll save. <laughs> get dead, Flan. Ooh, she got Demi Sword! Yay! Bam, bam, bam. We're on a roll. We are on a roll, Riku. We are. All right, let's go check Yuna's abilities. Mm. Holy damage. I guess we can do that. Yeah, we can just do that. It's fine. Even though it's quite expensive. Okay. Saved. Now we're gonna walk up to these two ladies right here. So just like in chapter one, they can do publicity and matchmaking as well. I wonder if these people get annoyed from like all the all the uh, <laughs> soliciting that I do to them. Because I hit them up all these chapters. And I wonder if they feel kind of like how I feel when the same stupid people come to my door over and over and over again, trying to sell me the same thing. We have a couple of them right now. Uh, one of them is a pest control company that is trying their damnedest to get us to switch from our current pest control company over to them. And we've told them we have a pest control company that we're happy with right now and they can stop and they keep coming. They keep coming every single month. Also, every single month, there's this, like, real estate girl that comes by, and, like, we just moved, like, less than a year ago. It's not even been a full year yet. And we've told her over and over, no, thank you. We do not need her services. But she has this, like, fakey newsletter um, that she drops off that's, like, community, that she's, like, community events. But, um, but it's not really like that. It's just, like, random stuff that's happening around town. It has nothing to do with her. And it's not like a newsletter worth looking at or anything like there's no like crossword puzzle or Sudoku on it. Right. There's not like it's not like she doesn't like share recipes. You know, it's nothing of actual value. It's just her advertising her services on one side of the page. And on the other side of the page, it's like pretending to be a newsletter where it'll be like, these are the holidays and, and events around town this month. And it's like, OK, <laughs> I can get that on, on the the town website, but thank you, I guess. <laughs> um, not useful. Okay, the lady in blue, 
you can do publicity with her. It's the first one. And then matchmaking is also the first one. And then for this lady, she can also do both publicity and matchmaking. So for publicity, you do the second one. And for matchmaking, you do the fifth one. Uh, yes, this one right here. Okay. Then we have this chest right here. This is Gil, 1000 Gil, yay. We'll, be, we'll build our coffers back up. There is also another chest. It's somewhere along here. I don't remember where, but we're gonna try to find it. Bam, bam, bam. I live in the middle of nowhere. Most I get is phone calls about updating my car insurance. It was hilarious when you don't have a car. Oh, I love those. But oh my god, don't you don't you want to <laughs> don't you want to uh, you know upgrade your car insurance? We get those in the mail too. No one actually comes by for those, thank God. But we get them constantly in the mail. Um, car insurance, and since we own our home, we get house home insurance as well. Upgrading or changing our home insurance. And it's like, oh my God, stop. Like if I want to change my insurance, I know how to use Google. I literally do not need you to explain to me like that you have the services, okay. We have no things without addresses on them, stickers for our mailboxes and putting unaddressed mail into mailboxes with those stickers can actually be reported and punished as a fine. So whenever we catch a company Smoke doing that, more than once we report them. What? That is so cool. What? So in the US, I don't know yeah. if, that would, if it works that way in the US, but here's what they'll do. They'll put like your address on there and, um, and they'll put like homeowner or resident under the name. So it technically is addressed, but like not very well. Um, and then because like data farms and data mines and all that stuff is like so prevalent uh, that you will also get stuff that literally does have your name on it and they'll make the outside of the envelope like look all official like it's from your actual insurance company but then you open it up and it's an advertisement for some other insurance company. Um, they do this also with, with warranties. They'll they'll mail you saying you need to do the extended warranty for this, that, or the other of whatever product you have, but like it's not really it's not really real in that way. But sometimes it is. Sometimes it is like warranty for a product that you actually have. Um, and it's from that company and they're they're just harassing you after you bought from them. But that would be cool. It's the hi I'm your grandkid. Girl, I'm 23. <laughs> hey, Bella, you know what? Beldum, you could have just gotten started really early, okay? And then your your daughter also got started really early, okay? Like, it happens. Okay, it happens. Don't judge. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'm your grandchild. It's because they want to prey on the elderly. They want to prey on the elderly. It's disgusting. You know? Like, it's just such nonsense. It's like, thank you for, for wasting this paper to send me this trash. I'm just going to throw away. But like, what if it's actually something from my in my real insurance company? So like, I have to at least open it and then throw it away. Okay, so this chest right here, this is a Phoenix down. So you get some Phoenix downs from this guy. And then I think it's this one. Yeah, so he can do publicity as well. And he is the third one. So there we go. Now we're gonna go to the next area. We get the to the people living in this residence mail too, but I think they made it illegal for companies too because I haven't seen anyone other than actual government branches do that recently. But see, the thing is, is like a lot of that stuff is illegal here as well, but we don't have the resources to actually go and prosecute all these people, so they just fucking do it anyway. Like I'm on do, the do not call list, so like no they're not supposed to do the phone calls to me, but they still do. You know, they still do. And there's there's nothing I can do about it because they can't they can't really track them down very easily because it's all like spoofed numbers or whatever. So and they don't have the resources to properly track them down. So they just simply don't. So if you report them like nothing happens and they know that nothing's going to happen if you report them. So they just fucking do it anyway. So for the phone instead, I have like an app from the phone from my phone company that blocks like the vast majority of them. And then if I don't know the number, I just simply don't answer. And that's the best that you can do in regards to the phone ones. Um, the male ones, I assume it's kind of similar, but I don't really know. Uh, I've never pursued like trying to get those to stop. I just throw them away. That's true, it could have happened, but grandma at 23, I don't even think my gray, I have my gray hairs yet, lucky. Um, let me be young and dumb, then scam me scammers, right? <laughs> right? Oh my God, I love it. Yeah, uh, I have some gray hairs. I have some gray hairs. They started in, the in my 30s. 
Um, they're not too bad though, and my hair is light enough that you can barely see them. Like if you, it, unless like, I mean, obviously my husband notices, but he's like up close and personal can see them. But most other people either they do not notice them or they're polite enough to not say anything. But I barely notice them also. There's only a few. They are increasing though, but it's okay. It just makes me look blonder, which is fine. We usually don't get the scam mail because of the sticker, but when we do get a sneaky technically addressed, but it's really, but is it really addressed thing? It's generally a one-off. That makes sense. I wonder if they have stickers like that for us, even though I'm, I don't think it's like actually illegal. I wonder if we can get those stickers. Cause like we have no solicitation stickers for the front door. We just keep forgetting to put them up, but we do have those. So I think that would stop some of it, um, but we're just lazy and we don't put them up. Oh, no, she can get white magic level three and then she'll go back to Kira. I mean, gray hair is pretty. I wish I had gray hair, right? Like, I hope that when um, when I finally for real go gray, that it doesn't like come in slowly, that it just that we can just go to it all at once, because I think it looks really nice when it's all gray. You know, you get kind of like the, the silver Targaryen hair. You know what I'm saying? You know, I feel like I could rock that. I feel like I could rock that real good. Go put them up the time you say from not having to answer soliciting will more than make up for the 10 minutes it takes. I know, I know, I know. I know, it just keeps not happening. It's just one of those things. You know, I'm sure you all have those chores too, where just like it's supposed to happen, but it never seems to happen. All right, this lady can do solicitation as well. I mean, not solicitation, publicity. But we are soliciting to her. Okay, so for publicity, you can do the fourth one. And for the matchmaking for her, you can do the second one. And then there's a chest right here. Some potions, I think. Yeah, some potions. All right, and then we wanna walk around along the right side because on the right side, there should be another chest that we definitely want. It's a toss up for me whether I'm gonna turn gray early because my mom still barely has any noticeable gray hairs, but my dad doesn't even have any color left in his beard anymore. Oh, um, my dad went gray pretty uh, smoothly. But he has very, very like fair hair. Like, like he he has blonde hair, and it was lighter than mine. Even my hair is kind of like in between my two parents. Now my mom has like black, black, like dark hair, right? So for the longest time, like she went gray, except for this patch in the middle, the back of her head. So she ended up dyeing her hair uh, for many, many years um, to her like to her color because aw, uh, out of MP because um. Um, because of that kind of like black patch in the back. So hopefully I don't get that. Hopefully mine actually like goes gray when it goes gray, you know? Um, and I don't have like this random like color patch in the back of my head, but I think that's very possible to happen to me because it happened to her. Right, my goal is to have a full head of gray hair so I can just dress up like Gandalf and do the iconic you shall not pass. I'll do, I'm gonna do that all the time. When I'm old, I'm gonna do that all the time. Cause I'm gonna still probably have this haircut. Like I'm still gonna probably do this haircut. I think this haircut still looks good. Gray, right? So I'm not gonna like cut it off all short like a lot of women do when they get older, you know? I'm still gonna keep some length there, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna be just be Gandalf all the time. I'm gonna braid it and be like, Jakaris. Just all the time. Just all, I'm, I'm being insufferable. The older I get, the more annoying I get, I hope. That's my goal in life. All right, this is a silver bracer, so you definitely wanna get that, that's an accessory. Um, and then if we come down here, then the next one is to the left. To the left, to the left. Hey, don't push me. Excuse you. So it's over here somewhere. Oh, I see it. I see it, it's down here. I'm tempted to just go to the salon and get dyed, bleached or whatever so I can have silver hair. It's hard to keep up is with it? though. Like if your hair isn't actually like gray yet, it's very difficult to like keep that going. Um, so you gotta like, you gotta put a lot of effort into it. So that's why I, I wouldn't personally want to do that. But if I end up with the color patch in the back, like what happened to my mom, I might. I might see if that patch can be just bleached, you know what I'm saying? 
Okay, why why is this guy not dying? Hello. Excuse you. Die already. There, we're dead now. Good. That's fine. Anything to say the iconic line, right? Go for it. I believe in you. Hey, if you're willing to do the work, you should do it. You should 100% do it. It's hair. Like, you should do whatever you want to it. You know what? I want pink hair, but it's not allowed at work. You can't have unnatural colors at my work. So you get some holy water from this chest. So I can't do it, but I really want, like, Madoka pink hair. Someday. Someday. I'm hoping that they realize, um, at some point, that how much it hurts us in the job market to not... A, to uh, to have a more strict dress code and they'll change it. I keep hoping for this. And then as soon as they do, I'm going to have pink hair. As soon as they do. I had pink hair when I was hired, actually, and then I had to get rid of it. I had to let it grow out and cut it off. I had to stop dyeing it. But I'd do it again if they uh, if they change the, the dress code. I guess I should kill the dive beak first because the peregrines take forever to die. Get it, Kiri! Hey, thank you. Yes, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Oh, now he oversold. Okay. Miss? Oh, that must have been Yuna's miss. Hey, don't you silence Yuna. Even though that's totally fine, actually, because she's just gonna attack. I just found a death flower in the back lot. Oh my god, that's awesome. That's one thing we do not have in Sims 2. That's one thing we do not have in Sims 2 is the death flowers. Oh my gosh, die already! Hello? Man, these things take forever to die when they're regular. When they're oversold, they take forever, forever. Oh, and now she's out of MP. Okay. Oh wait, no, she's silenced. Okay, hang on. Where's my echo screens? There we are. Oh my gosh, get dead. Do a big spell. Come on, Peregrim. Go away already. Oh, well, at least it helped her learn white magic level three. Oh my god, this thing's taking forever. Is she sil She's silenced again. Hey, Yuna is just like so useless here. Okay, big spell again. Fyraga. Oh my gosh, and it's not dead yet. Pyraga again. Ah, dead finally. That took for fucking ever. Too long. Okay. Uh, let's get some heals going. Uh, echo screams. Let's see, where's... There's some antidotes. Okay, let's heal up. Okay. Alright. That took way too long. Alright. Uh, this guy down here. He also can do some publicity, right? Him? Yes. Okay. I thought so. Okay, so he can do the second one. Alright. And then there's the chest over here. I don't think we got the last chest in this area. I got so distracted by how long that freaking battle took. That's what she said. <laughs> True. True.
Okay. It's over here somewhere. Right? Oh, I must have got it. Because that must be it. Okay. It was Phoenix Downs. If I didn't get the last chest, I could do the second Let's one. That's what it. she said. Yeah. <gasps> he can do the second one. That's right. Okay. This bitch. I'm not playing around. That's what you get. That's what you get for your oversoul friend. Doing what they did to me. You deserve it. You and all of your peregrine kind. I was radicalized against you by an evil oversold version. It's not my fault. It's just circumstances. Guess I'll take a break. What? Hey, we need you. Now, why would you take a break, Pain? That's silly. Hello. Get him, Yuna. All right, can we make it to the travel agency without another fight? A stranger entered the house and put down a book. Well, you know, he just wants to uh, to let you know that um, Jesus actually lived in the USA. Burn. Did you know Jesus lived here in the USA? You can read all about it now. In this nifty book, it's free. No, you don't have to pay. That's all it is. That's all it is, EA. Oh my gosh, another battle. Let's do it. Almost made it. Alright, made it to the travel agency. So there's a couple of things at the travel agency. We want to um, go on the hill right here. And we want to talk to this guy. You got to do this first when you get here because he's not going to stay here forever. And you can do publicity with him. You do the first one. And then behind the agency over here, there's some fun stuff going on. First of all, what the heck? Hi. Hello. I program these machina. Okay. They look um, not that healthy. They're kind of electrified. Little zappy looking. A little zappy zap looking. On this side of them, there's eye drops. And then inside the agency, there's two more publicity people that you can do. I'm sorry, but you won't be able to go chocobo riding. I see. Sorry to bother you. Aww. No Chabocobo riding for you. Sorry. Okay, so this right here, the lady, you can do publicity second. And then you can do the matchmaking, the fourth one. And then for the dude, he does publicity as well. You do the third one. Okay. Then we're going to come out here and watch a scene. Okay, let's save first before we go over and talk to her. You definitely want to save before this because you need to do this mission a specific way to get the most percentage and uh, and set up something for later. All right, let's talk to this girl. You aren't Lady Yuna by any chance. I am. I don't suppose you remember me, do you? I think I remember. You can't be Kelly. That's right. You really do. Why does remember. she get to grow up but Passe doesn't? I don't understand. Remember Callie? We met her two years ago on the Meehan High Road. The little girl that was so looking forward to the calm. What are you doing here? 
She had a growth spurt. I came spurt. to ride a I've wanted to ride one for as long as I can remember. Hmm, you don't see too many chocobos these days. Everybody rides hovers. Yeah. On top of that, I hear there's a chocobo hunting fiend prowling around. Oh no. This isn't a very good place for poor little chocobos anymore. Maybe they're gone for good. I see one. Cho! Cho! Cho? It's a chocobo! It's a chocobo! Okay, we're gonna help Callie catch the chocobo, yes! All right, so we gotta follow Riku for this first part. This is this is multi-part to this little Chabokabo hunting minigame. Ooh, there it is! There it is! Stay close to me! I'll get that Chocobo! Sure, Riku. So Riku thinks that she knows how to find the Chocobo, but she doesn't. She's gonna keep telling us to like turn off a certain way and you should never ever listen to her. I'm picking up these feathers, but this is like really not necessary. Uh, no. You never say yes, she's wrong every time. Picking up these feathers affects like a little prize at the end, but it, like it's so super irrelevant. But it's still fun to pick them up, so I'll pick them up some of them. But you shouldn't go out of your way to pick them up. Um. Because it'll do that timer thing, and then you can't get back on it. Uh, no. It did not go that away, Riku. How she can lose such a gigantic bird, I don't understand. You scored Chocobo Feather! Yay! There it is! What did I tell ya? You- what did you tell me, Riku? What did you tell me exactly? I'll watch the far end. No Chocobos will get out that way. I've got this end. And that leaves me to catch it. That's right, Yuna. Okay, so for this step, we're gonna run up to the Chocobo, and you wanna do well, but not too well, to get the scenes to properly trigger. So hopefully that is what happens. Um, we're gonna try. The Chocobo Rodeo. Oh, missed. So you don't wanna you don't wanna do them all correctly, but you don't wanna miss too often either. If you miss too often, you fail the mission. But if you do them too correctly, then you don't get a certain scene that you definitely want to get. Basically, you're just trying to tire him out a little bit by jumping over you, but not too much. So I'm gonna try to like hit him every other time. Oh, shit. He went more to the right than I thought he was going to. Chocobo has lost its concentration. Now you can easily tell which way it'll go. Okay. So we're gonna do the to the right. Here we go. It looks like he's gonna go straight, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna let him miss this time. I think that's gonna be the good thing to do. Okay, let's go get him this time. Okay, I think this is what we want. Maybe it's just me, but this is 
starting to check my hide. Yeah, this is what we want. Come back here, bird brain! If you get him like three times in a row, I think it will actually catch him at this stage, which is not what you want. You want to go through this section of the game too. Oh, where to go this time? Basically, you just follow Riku. legs it sure can run and this is the scene we actually need to see oh, 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 that way, that way. Way over there. yeah where she falls like that remember in the um in the final fantasy i think it was 14 before it did, had the revamp they called chocobos horse birds, and I thought that was so stupid, and I didn't understand why they would do that. I'm pretty sure that's not how it is anymore since Realm Reborn, but like when that game first came out, I remember that. And I remember thinking like, that's dumb. Why would you call them horse birds? Just call them chocobos, that's what everyone calls them. Horse birds is like, it's just too descriptive of what they are. Ashes to ashes. All right, she got Kira. Child's play. Child's play. All right, what's next for White Mage? Kiraga. Okay. I think I can just leave her alone and let her go, like, in that order that it appears. Chocobo's downright exhausted. All you have to do is chase it down for an easy capture. There's got to be a better way than this. Yep. Well, we won't get anywhere running after him. We need to think of something else. Don't worry, Payne. I know what to do. I go, I go here to where it's got the little gray marker on my mini map, and I talk to this lady. Was that a chocobo? I haven't seen one on the high road in forever. Yes, please, please help me. Roger, leave it to me. Welcome back, Huneko. Welcome back. We got this. Here comes the hover. And cornered and tired, somehow this animal, instead of attacking, just decides to give up and become our chocobo. How this happens, I don't understand, but this is what happens. Hey, your friend's in hot water. Oh no, Callie. Yeah, it decided to become friends instead of attack us for some reason. So that's very nice of it. Oh, we got to run. Oh, we can save first, though. Let's go save Callie! So remember in Chapter 1 we saw that little baby Chibokobo eater? Well... Guess what we're about to see. It's the Mama Chocobo Eater! Oh no!
We'll try and buy you some time. Lady Yuna, please hurry. Thanks, Flasco. Piece of cake. Let's go. Okay, now we're gonna run around. We got a time limit. Oh no, we gotta go fast. Gotta go fast, gotta go fast. I don't know why we can't just jump down. We definitely jump down from crazy heights in other parts of this game. But here, it's too far, apparently. We would hurt ourselves, so we have to run around. Don't really understand that, but that's how it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta go fast. Like Sanic. Like Bluey. The Hedgehog. All right, let's go around here. Run, run, Yuna, run, run. We're not gonna make it, we're not gonna make it. You can do it, Yuna. You can do it. We did it. We made it. You guys take it from here. Don't worry, Klaska, we got it. We're gonna help you, Callie. I know you're trapped right now. Let's clean up. Thank you, thank you. Now we have to kill it. Thank you, thank you, Veldum. Thank you, your claps give me the power. Die, Chabogobo Eater. I should add, I should find the video where the Chabogobo where that comes from. And he did. That's it. He did. Because we're very overleveled from trying to, from doing all the things in the game instead of like zooming through. Whatever works for her. Shall we? Mission complete. And we got Selena. Uh guard garment grid all right so after that it puts you on the ship but there is one more thing we actually have to do in Meehan high road so we're gonna go back to the travel agency area and you can see Callie and Clasco are right up here so we need to go talk to them So I don't suppose you let me on board along with Callie, would you? All aboard! The toxic gossip train! Sorry, it's in your head again now. It's in my head again. I'm in your debt, Lady Yuna. Callie, Clasco, and the Chocobo all board the airship. Yay! Okay, so we gotta get them all on the airship. And now, let's save. Oh gosh, it's stuck in my head too. I'm sorry. Not really, but I'm sorry. Um, okay, so we should be at 30.6% now. So I'm just going to check it. Yep, we're at 30.6%. Okay, fantastic. Let's board. All right, next. To finish up this whole little like Chibokabo thing. It's so good, but so bad at the same time, right? We're, we have a new hotspot. We have a hotspot in the calm land. So let's go find what's going on there. Did you know that in Final Fantasy 16, it's possible to miss getting a Chocobo? It's a side quest reward. What the fuck? What? Chobocobo should not be relegated to the side. Although they are, I guess they are kind of a side quest in this game too. And kind of in 10 as well. Hmm. Anyways, we're going to go to the calm lands. Because I do not put Chocobos on the side. How dare she make a song I want to dance to, right? I love the song, actually, as much as I think she's terrible. 
an awful person but like the song the song the song is legitimately good and every time i hear it it's in my head and i just can't stop <laughs> all aboard <laughs> okay anyways let's go let's go let's go follow up on these chibokobos with Clasco. this is it something tells me this is where i'll find my calling i am in your debt lady yuna You run so fast. Yes, we want to follow him. All right. Uh, now what am I supposed to do? Uh, I was sure this would be the perfect spot, but it's infested with fiends. I get the feeling he wants something. Okay, what do you want, Clasco? Tell me, tell me. If only there weren't any fiends here. Ah, oh, I'm so close, so close. Uh, yeah, let's help him out. Yeah, Beldum, it's unfortunate that Colleen Ballinger is actually a talented person and she uses her talents for evil. Okay, so here's what we gotta do. I'm gonna go ahead and save. So we don't have to repeat watching any of that. Okay, so... There's a bunch of fiends in here and you have to find like the one that you're gonna fight. And it's the one that is there cause they're all facing towards the fake fiend, but you can't see the way that the fucking elements are facing. But anyway, because this one's facing that, that direction, it's either one of those two elementals or it's gonna be up here, one of these guys. Okay, I think Mm, I think it's this gecko. Yes, it is. Okay. So you have to find the fiend that you're going to fight, and then you got to fight it. You have to do that a bunch of times. I can't remember how many rounds the game puts you through with this. Lizaga! Yay! And these fiends are a little bit difficult, more difficult than you might expect from looking at them. So, yeah. Beldum, you are cleaning up on the Pokemans. My gosh. You're just catching them all. Doing a good job. Fiends remaining four. Okay, so it's five rounds. Um, Let's do some antidotes. Okay, so they're all facing forward, so it's going to be downstairs. I'm um, Beldum, catch him. That's right. They're all facing... Okay. It's gotta be this one, then. I think. It's gotta be this kitty cat. No, it's not the kitty cat! Okay, wait a second. It's this one. It's this one in here. I always forget there's a fiend in here, but it's this guy. I always forget there's a fiend in that little area. I wanna be the very best, like no one ever was. Ba 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 ba. To catch them is my real test. Train them is my cause. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. Teach Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. Oh, I, I lost it. I can't. I can't remember what comes next. But anyway, you get the idea. Death blast. That's not fair. Excuse you. Hi. Hello. These Quirrells, the Queen Quirrells, are awful. I freaking hate fighting them. They're so annoying. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. No more moping. A heart so true. The courage to pull us through. You teach me and I'll teach you. Pokemon. Okay. Why do you keep killing my people? What did I ever do to you? What did I ever do to you? Nothing. I'm I'm just here trying to kill you, which is a good and correct thing to do, since you're a fiend, okay? And and you don't deserve life. In fact, you're supposed to be dead. Like that's literally that's literally the plot of, of you and your existence. So you should probably just get with the program and um and say goodbye already to life. Um, you know, you know what I'm saying? Instead of list like nonsense. 
Is that of this nonsense that you're doing here, trying to kill me? Like, who does that? I am the hero. Hello? Oh my god. There we go, finally, dead. I hate these things. They're so difficult for this point of the game. Fiends remaining three, okay. Well, we are gonna potion up. Yeah, die NPC, die, right? You are put on this game. You are put in this game for me to kill you, okay? That's, what, that's your purpose. I think they stand against the mighty main character. They don't know they're just fodder for the growth and development for the protagonist. They don't know. They don't know no one told them. Okay, I think it's this one. No, it's not this one. Okay. Wait. It's the front. It's the one in the front again. Oh, it's the one in the front again. No? Not all fiends are real, some are only illusions. Touching the illusions, yes, I know. I know that. I'm trying to find the real one. Okay, they're all looking. Okay, it's gotta be up. Yes, it's gotta be up. Oh, no? Back this way. You? No. You. No! What the heck? Is it you? Yes, it's you. It's you. Okay, at least it's not a Queen Coerol. That's good. Get him. Yep, we're gonna burn him with fire. Hell yeah, we got it. Okay, how many rounds are left? That Queen Corel took so long. I think it's only two rounds left. Yeah, two rounds left, okay. Okay, wait. Um, It's either that Queen Corel there in the back, or it's up. It's one of these ones that's up, because they're all pointing towards the back. It's you. Yeah. Oh no, it's not piece of cake. Three armets is not piece of cake. Uh, let's see. Armor break. Let's armor break these bitches. Smoking's bad for you. But it's good for me, the black mage. Burn. Got it. Oh, he oversold! What the heck? Why would you oversold? That's so rude. I'm not gonna let you armor up. I'm just gonna keep armor breaking you until you go down. Oh, we need an ether. I've been trying to get back into Sims 3, but it keeps breaking my computer. 
I love Sims. Um, we play Sims 2, mostly. Um, I don't dislike Sims 3, but the openness of it makes it difficult for me to do, like, rotational. Um, which if you've seen my Pleasant View videos, then you know, like, how we do that. So I love Sims 2, and I have a guide for how to get that one running. I don't really know how to get Sims 3 running, but I th you can still, like, buy Sims 3 legitimately, can't you? Like, that's still, like, a ashes thing. Unlike Sims 2, where you can't buy it legitimately anymore. Like, you can actually go into Origin and buy Sims 3, right? Am I right on that, or am I wrong on that? Yay, Fiend's remaining one! Okay. Let's potion up. Sims 2 is great, I love Sims 3, but at the same time it's just hard to get it working well. Yeah, still only 8, Sims 2 has to be part. Yeah, that's true. But if you do exclamation Sims 2, I do have a guide on, on that, on like what, what to do to get it running after you find a good download. Okay. Oh, fuck. It's another fucking stupid... <sighs> it's cat bitch. I hate you. I hate you so much. Yeah, so I don't know if that's, if that's helpful, because I know it's not Sims 3, but it's at least something, a resource for Sims 2, if you want to do that one. I don't really know how to get Sims 3 working properly on modern hardware. I assume it has similar problems, though not as bad as Sims 2, because it's not quite as old. Quirrell is the Queen Quirrell is bad kitty. Very bad kitty. I like how she just doesn't get up. <laughs> she doesn't get up except to do a stretch, right? Bad for you. I mean, she's so pretty, but she's so bad. Like, how dare she? Oh my gosh. Dare you death blast my white mage. SimC works fine on modern hardware. You just have to install a bunch of things to make it lag less. Oh, I see. Um, but you can do... It's time to attack. But you can do without if only you play the base game and NRAAs and Ross. I don't know what that is. Um, I enjoy Sims 2. I haven't played it in a hot minute, but I might install it to play while watching your Sims 2 videos. Hell yeah, you should play. Yeah, play it with me. Play along with me. Oh, that would be so cool. That should do it, right? That should do it. Okay. We took care of the problem for you, Clasco. All right, let's, um, let's save before we go fight that thing. Okay, last fiend we have to fight. I still gotta design my Quirrell Sona. Decided she's gonna be a two form Sona. One form is half Car Caracal, half Squirrel, and the other form is half, um. These are ice ones? Yeah, no. Uh, Thundara. Um, other form is half Quirrell, so she's gonna have the Car Caracal Snoot in her Quirrell form. Oh, okay. I'm imagining it. I'm imagining it. I see it. I'm for it. 
Are you gonna actually try to do a costume for it? Or are you gonna just, um, is it gonna be one that you draw? Like, how are we doing this? I'm curious. It is, it is. We've been talking about a Kawiral, like, cosplay type of thing. Um, since we've been, since we played Final Fantasy X, I feel like it came up when we played X, because the Kawiral design in this game is just so freaking good. Oh my gosh, why am I not... She, he's, she's not actually absorbing any MP, is she? And I'm just not paying attention. Oh no, she's silenced! Holy cannoli. Not eye drops, echo screen. Gimme, gimme, gimme an echo screen. There we go. Okay, that's why she couldn't cast. <laughs> and I was thinking she was out of MP. She's not out of MP! She's not out of MP. Okay, there we go. Got it. Oh, thank you so much. At last, my dream can come true. You're welcome, Clasco. What dream? I'm going to start a chocobo ranch. No one will bother me here. I can finally raise chocobos in peace. Good luck. Oh, no. I can't raise anything without a chocobo. You've got your work cut out for you. Poor Clasco, poor Clasco. Oh no. I don't think I'm getting a costume at best, just ears and tail. I can't wear fur suits because I overheat too quickly. Understood. Um, I've, and I think you've told me that before too. And if I'm getting ears and tail, I'm getting those for the maned wolf painted dog hybrid Sona because their designs are most recognizable. Okay, and we got Alchemist. We got Alchemist dress sphere. Fuck yeah. Okay, and we can capture Chocobos now. Give me that Pokemon. You know you want to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, give him the Pokemon. Give him the Pokemon. Give her the Pokemon. Wait, right? You're her, Beldum? I think you said you're she, her. Um, okay, so we need to go into our garment grid. And I think Vanguard is still the one. Yeah, this is strength and magic plus five. I think that's still the garment grid we want to use. We've got a magic plus 10. No, I think we still want to use Vanguard. Strength and magic plus five. She, her, yes. Okay, thank you. I'll try to remember. All right, yes, I want to change that. Okay, we need Alchemist. We need Alchemist for Riku. Okay, so yes. And we still want to do Warrior for Yuna. We're working on Black Mage for Pain. And then White Mage is what she would work on after. And then Psychic is what Yuna would work on after she's done with Warrior. Okay, all right. Yes, I need to adjust Riku. Okay, so Riku is going to be Alchemist now. We need to get her a bunch of the Alchemist um, abilities. So let's go look. All right. <laughs> let's start with the passives, I think. Uh, yeah. Let's start with the passives. Yes. Okay. So there are some different things we can get in the Calm Lands. Um, okay, we need to go talk to Clasco, actually. We need to go talk to Clasco. He needs to give us some greens. Hey, Clasco. Okay. Yes, I know how to do it. Okay, Geshel Greens, yes. All right, we got our greens, you guys. Nom, nom, nom. I don't need to, I don't need to do any of this. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so while we run around and try to get some of the um, chests, that are in the Calm Lands. We're gonna try to catch a Chibokobo. First chest is over at the bottom of the ramp, so we have to run all the way over there. <clears throat> it's 
So you do want to catch at least one chocobo during this chapter for the full like percentage points that you want to get. And we are actually going to do something with that particular chocobo because the first thing I want to do with the chocobo, it doesn't matter what type we have. Like it doesn't matter their disposition or anything. Okay, so down over here, there's a chest, I'm pretty sure. There it is. Some ethers! All right. And then over on the west cliff over here, there's another chest. Oh, I see it. I see it, I see it, I see it. It's over there. Can't believe I haven't gotten any encounters yet. I do want some, because I want to get a Chibokobo. Open sesame! Chocobo wing! So now we're going to head over to the travel agency. There is a scene at the travel agency, so you absolutely want to do this. There's a fight. No oh, but no chocobos. Sorry, Quirrell. I'm mad at you for what your kind did to me. So I got to fire you. Goodbye. It's not your fault. It's not your fault about the queen Quirrells, but, you know, it's how it is. Baby Ronsos. Hi, Summoner Yuna. I am Leon Ronso. We have not met. Hey, I heard about you. Nice to meet you, Leon. And this is Aid Ronso. Hello, Aid. <clears throat> we are happy to meet you. Leon and Aid hear many stories of Lady Yuna. Elder Kimari tells of your journey together. But please. Do not speak to Elder of meeting Leon and Aid today. Why not? Oh! You must be the two kids who left Mount Gagazet, right? Kimari's really worried. Yeah, he is. Should we take them back? Yeah. Too late! Oh! What? Bye! I can really move! Everybody runs so much faster than the girls in this game. Everyone runs so much faster. Okay, so you do need to do that for a percentage point. All right, so at the travel agency over here, there's another chest. Phoenix Downs. And then we're gonna go over to the gorge where the um, where that one temple is, where the Yojimbo temple is. And there's a couple of chests over there. So hopefully between here and there, we will see a Chibokobo that we can catch. I hope, I hope, I hope. Why can't I jump over this? I can jump all these other areas in this game, but I cannot jump there over that little thing. So silly. No, I must get stuck on the terrain instead. Yeah, no jumping. This game lets you jump, but not really. Okay, Chibokobo? No. Chiboka, no. Ashes to ashes.
Dang, I almost always see a chocobo just from running around and getting those chests. I'm surprised. We'll have to run around for a second after I get these chests over here. All right, here's one chest. And then down at the bottom of the gorge here, there's another chest. I think it's, is it to the left? Yeah, it's to the left, to the left. Everything you own in the box to the left. Phoenix down, okay. So now we are going to run back towards Clasco's little area where he's got the Chocobo Ranch. Um, we're going to catch a Chocobo and do one quick little thing with the with that Chocobo that we catch. Chocobo? Let's do it. No. Choco, no. <clears throat> Don't fire the Nashhorn, I learned that the hard way. Alchemist is a freaking awesome dress sphere, by the way. Like, it is must have. Like, I am gonna try to max Riku out on Alchemist before I do anything else with her. And it takes a while, but it is so worth it. Because this dress sphere is amazing. Okay, so there's the Chocobo Ranch. Here's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Turn up enemy encounters. Give me a chocobo. What time? Hey, time. thank you. Okay, so we gotta get rid of these wolfos first. And then I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Okay, now we need Geshel Greens on the Chocobo. Don't run away. Don't run away. Don't you do it. Hey, we caught it. Hell yeah. Okay, so that's how you catch a chocobo. You have to kill everything else in the party with it before it runs away. And then you have to feed it Geshel Greens before it runs away. If you attack the chocobo, if you attack the chocobo, then it will definitely run away. <laughs> so you don't want to do that. Um, you don't want to attempt to kill the chocobo. It's, uh, it's not really something that's beneficial to kill the chocobo. Okay, so we caught one. So here's what we're gonna do. There's several different things that you might want to dispatch your chocobos for, but there is one that you can do right at the beginning that's beneficial. So you can dispatch any old chocobo to Beacon El Desert and it's gonna unlock something for us there that we definitely want later. So we're gonna we're gonna dispatch him to Beacon El. Uh, make me proud, okay. So he's off to Beacon El. Now, we can check on him after after seven battles, they come back. So we'll have to come back and check on him later. But basically what this is gonna, un gonna do is unlock a particular digging spot that we want to have happen in chapter five. So we definitely want to do that. He's gonna run away, he's gonna escape. That's why it doesn't matter what kind of chocobo it is because you're not he's not gonna come back anyways. He's gonna escape, but it's still gonna unlock the thing. Okay, all right, you guys, so. If you're watching the VOD on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day. We're going to do another episode next. Okay. All right. Bye, YouTube. See you later.